Um, before I knew the Lord, I was, I grew up in a really broken, uh, just broken home, raised with a single mom of six kids. And um, before I was even born, my father did not want me. So I never had a father, father figure in my life. My mother um, never nourished me or comforted me in any way. Actually, my mother abused me, abused me so bad that um, I was almost killed by the hands of my mother. And so growing up with extreme abuse as a child, I ended up um, enduring a lot of anger. So the anger caused me to fight back. So I was always fighting. Um, I ended up on the streets, I was emancipated at 15 years old. Before I was emancipated, I got into gangs, and so I was in the gang life, doing a lot of bad things that I should have never been doing. I was, I'd never known Christ, and was never introduced to him as in my family. And so, um, just growing up really in an ugly place. And so, with that being said, I hated my mother. I hated my mother, I hated my father, I felt unloved, I had abandonment issues, rejection issues, and um, it wasn't until my early 30s I got to know who Jesus Christ was, and I had an encounter, and then after that I ended up getting church hurt, so I slid back. I was involved in a lot of drugs and alcohol. I actually started smoking cigarettes in third grade. In third grade, I was smoking cigarettes, and by 11 years old, I was smoking marijuana, extremely addicted to marijuana, drugs, alcohol, and um, just really ran an ugly, fast life. Very destructive. I was in and out of jail, spent about four and a half years of my young life um, in jail, and um, accumulated a lot of fines and stuff. But by the grace of God, God had his hand over me before I even knew him. And I would reach out and just say, God, help me. God, I want to change. Just little stuff like that. My early 30s, I finally, like I said, um, realized who Jesus was and started to build a relationship with him. And fell away, fell back into the world, and continued the lifestyle of back and forth. It was just going nowhere. I was going in circles. It wasn't until 2020 when I can honestly say a lot of people hated 2020. I'm grateful for 2020 because 2020 gave me vision. The Lord came into my life and I fully accepted him and surrendered and gave my whole life to, to the Lord and said, I'm done. Have your way. What began to happen during that time? Um, after that, he started healing me. And I forgave my mother, which was the hardest thing to do. I forgave her. Matter of fact, I had compassion for her. I had a heart full of hatred that was so dark and ugly that I had a very murderous mind. Um, I even had plans and plots of like what I could do to her. I was suicidal before all that. I attempted it four times. It never worked. But by the grace of God, it was all God. He said, you're not, I'm not done with you. And so now I live for the Lord, and I'm so grateful. I, my whole household serves the Lord. And um, I just want to say this, too. My daughter struggled with alcohol and anger. And I know these are also things that are part of generational curses. And so she was delivered from that here at Hungry Gen last month. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Wow. So what other changes beside your your daughter now coming to the Lord and you kind of experiencing more freedom. How, what else have you seen in your life? You know, one of the biggest things I can say that I've learned is forgiveness. Forgiveness sets you free. No matter what, people are going to always hurt you. They're going to fail you. But if you walk with a heart that truly loves and lives for the Lord, you learn that forgiveness is something that we need to always have because um, nobody's perfect. I make mistakes. I fall short to his glory all the time. So who am I to ask for forgiveness from the Lord if I can't forgive others? And so I believe that forgiveness has truly set me free from everything that was trying to hold me back and down and take me back to that place of anger. Because when we don't forgive, we start to become bitter and angry. And that stems a root of just chaos. And so I want to just say that forgiveness has been a big part of my my walk, like I walk in it every day because people hurt my feelings every day. So, you know, if I don't walk in that forgiveness and love, then um, I will become that hard, ugly shell that I used to be. And I will no longer want to be that person. God has set me free. God has given me new life. And God has truly blessed me in so many ways that I will never go back. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus one more time.
Joanna, you actually also completed destiny training in life class. How was that? It was amazing. I encourage everybody to go to it, do it. I've learned some more stuff about myself. I was able to do some more um, self-reflection, but also learn some tools on how to, to deal with things, how to respond and react, and also just how to walk forward in God's grace, love, mercy, and to help others. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Come on, let's give it up for what Jesus did in her life.